Hi everybody, welcome back to Speedway Motors. My name's Tim, I'm one of the techs here. You know I always love it when you can stop by and we can talk about some of the great products we have available to you. Something that might help you out on your hot rod. Now, if you love old school and traditional cars and parts, you've come to the right place. I've been on this kick lately, talking about all my favorite intake manifolds for small block Chevys. Last week, if you tuned in, I talked about the Edelbrock X16 do setup. Doesn't get any more gnarly than that. But looky here at this specimen. This is an Offenhauser pace setter intake. This is set up for four deuces. I just love this thing. If you've been in the market for a four deuce intake manifold, you probably know how hard originals are to find. Holy cow, I was at a swap meet not long ago and I saw an old mana free intake change hands and the guy was so happy counting out the cabbage for this thing and I couldn't believe the prices on these things lately. Uh, I, obviously, they're a neat looking setup. I was so surprised and excited when I found out Offenhauser was reintroducing their four do setup and it looks great. This thing's picture perfect on any traditional old school hot rod. I've got this set up with our 9 Super 7 three bolt carbs. Now this set is set up for three bolt carbs and that's important to remember. Some of the old mana freeze were set up for a four bolt and if you love this look it may be because you remember old Milner's coupe from American Graffiti, the fastest car in the valley. That's what it ran as a four do setup just like this. Of course his was set up with Rochester's on that old mana freeze setup. Uh, this Offenhauser again it's the three bolt uh, pattern. So any old school three bolt carburetor, a 9 Super 7 like this, or an old Stromberg 97, a new Stromberg 97, or an Edelbrock 94 carburetor will be just right on here, no problem. It's set up to run four primary carbs, so that's good to remember. It's going to run off of four idle circuits. You're probably thinking, holy cow Tim, that thing's got to be a nightmare to tune. Not necessarily. I actually have a friend that's got one of these on his 44. He drives it around all over the place. He just loves it. He says it's trouble free. And I've been on YouTube lately a lot looking at different videos of guys running these on the dyno and they sound and, and they run just great. So good to remember. This intake's commonly referred to as kind of a poor man's fuel injection and I can kind of show you why. If you look at the orientation of these carburetors, they drop right into the ports, right into the head. So that fuel doesn't have far to go to get into your cylinders. So pretty neat setup there. Again, a really cool intake. Really glad this thing's available again. It reminds me of the model kits I built when I was a kid of Milner's Coupe. I always loved putting those little engines together with this four do setup. Just a neat look. So again, if you have questions on this particular intake, give me a shout. I'm happy to help you out. You can subscribe to our YouTube page as well and see all of our tech videos. You can ask me questions right on the video or you can go to Facebook, ask questions there as well and give our tech group a call. We have a wonderful team of techs here at Speedway that are always happy to help you out. I always love talking about traditional hot rod parts. It's one of my passions, so give me a shout if you have any questions. Thanks again for stopping by. Visit our Speedway webpage or give us a shout with any questions via phone. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping. We'll see you again next time. <music>